What can spark controversies ahead of a tournament? A statement by one of the players, a rule change perhaps, a slogan that didn't sit too well with a section of fans. But would you believe if I said it is a jersey? Now let me backtrack a bit to give you some backstory here. This story revolves around Germany, a country that has been hailed for its footballing prowess and boasts of a rich legacy in the sport and is all set to host the 2024 UEFA European Football Championship. But with little over two months left for the mega tournament to take place, Germany is already facing the heat for its 2024 Euro jersey. Yes, a jersey has upset many fans across the globe. Germany's number 44 jersey has an uncanny resemblance to the Nazi symbol. The design of the number 44 jersey in particular, it has created a massive uproar. So much so that the manufacturer Adidas had to ban fans from customizing the jersey online. Take a look. The German Football Association, or the DFB, is facing the wrath of fans. A country that has bossed football for years is being pushed into the corner by fans raging over their new jersey launch. The jersey debuted during Germany's 2-0 win over France last month in an international friendly. The sporting outfit is set to be donned by the German players in the upcoming 2024 Euros. But currently the Euro 2024 hosts are under the scanner for the design of jersey number 44. The flare-up began with reports drawing attention to the design of the number 44, resembling the symbol used by World War II era Nazi SS units, a unit that was responsible for mass killings, including millions of Jews. The symbol is banned in Germany and can even be met with criminal prosecution. So it's obvious that the uncanny similarity is facing a lot of criticism. The manufacturer Adidas has claimed they had nothing to do with the design. They went ahead and said it was in fact the German Football Association that gave the final design. But after facing severe backlash, Adidas had to stop the personalization of the jersey. The manufacturers clearly did not want to find themselves stuck in this battle that no one saw coming. We will block the personalization of the jerseys in our online store. We as a company are committed to opposing xenophobia, anti-Semitism, violence and hatred in every form. The German Football Federation also halted the delivery of the number 44 jersey from its online portal. After allegations from Adidas, the DFB clarified that they are working on a new design for the Digit 4. The new design will require an approval from UEFA or the European Union of Football Associations something they clarified had been done in the first place. The DFB checks the numbers 0 to 9 and then submits the numbers 1 to 26 to UEFA for review. None of the parties involved saw any proximity to Nazi symbolism in the creation process of the jersey design. Nevertheless, we take the comments very seriously and do not want to provide a platform for discussions. We will develop an alternative design for the number 4 and coordinate it with UEFA. This isn't the only allegation that German football is facing. There's a lot of opposition for the use of bright pink for the away jersey. Critics claim the colour is not traditional and in keeping with the German football team colours. This is the second instance in recent weeks of an international football jersey sparking controversy. Earlier, the England football jersey faced the brunt of locals for altering the St. George's Cross, a symbol used on England's national flag. In England's jersey, the colour of St. George's Cross is traditionally white and red. That was changed to a multicolour cross which brought a lot of ire from various quarters. The manufacturers claimed it was to pay tribute to England's 1966 World Cup winning team. But fans and even politicians don't see it that way. From Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to opposition leaders and even fans, everyone expressed their anger over this. So clearly, in the quest of designing and experimenting, manufacturers and football federations seem to have misread public sentiments attached to something that may seem superficial, like a team jersey. At a time where some geopolitical relationships are getting more strained, anything seemingly innocuous could result in severe backlash and more so in an era where media and the digital imprint is so strong. 
these backlashes could easily amount to any brand image being tarnished. German football and Adidas are scrambling to do some damage control and evade just that.